I think a couple of weeks ago, LAFC announced their partnership with with the biggest club in Germany, Bayern Munich, and I, I think it's a, it's a developmental um, kind of thing uh, to combine. What was the word? Yeah, talent development partnership is what it's being referred to, uh, which is great. Um, John Thornton, LAFC GM and co-president, says we're extremely excited to work together with FC Bayern to identify and develop young talent in Southern California and beyond. They believe this relationship will provide players. Throughout our systems, the ability to maximize their potential and see a clear pathway to first team football. Uh, partnership of this magnitude is the next step in our evolution as a club, which is great. I think it's fantastic. Um, and no, he's correct in saying next step in evolution as a club, but also as as a league for the MLS. This is great. This is seeing one of the biggest clubs in the world right now, uh, potential Champions League winners this year, viewing an MLS team. It's like, hey, we want to partner with them because we kind of like what they're doing. We we like the people going through the ranks right now, uh, and we want we want kind of first dibs on that. Um, Oliver Oliver Kahn, Bayern CEO and chairman of the board of management and just overall soccer legend, says FC Bayern will expand its promotion of young talent with LA, LAFC on the international level. Soccer is developing rap, rapidly, which is also evident in the transfer market. We see this partnership as an opportunity to strengthen FC Bayern in the sporting competition with the best clubs in Europe and the Bundesliga. Um, and then as well as this, LFC also invested in, not partnered with, but invested in Austria's FC Wacker, Wacker Innsbruck, Wacker Innsbruck, something like that. Uh, fourth division side, I believe. Um, formerly in the top flight, but not anymore. Uh, last playing in 2019. And, but they invested in it. I think they're trying to like keep investing, get it back to the top. And I think if they get to the top, I'm sure there's going to be some partnership there. Um and influence and whatnot. I think it's all interesting. I think we don't know as many details yet, of course. Um, we'll get there. But is this something that more MLS clubs should be looking into? Should be is this is a good thing overall for the league. Something that the clubs should be doing. I know NYCFC already kind of has it with the Manchester City, like the City Football Group. Yeah, yeah. They're kind of I mean, partnering with them. I, 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 I'll be honest. I don't know too much about like all the intricate things that go yeah. on behind the scenes. So I, yeah. as, as a very naive sense, I want to say this is very good for the, for MLS. Um, as far as I know, it's mainly only positives, but again, yeah. I, I feel like I'm kind of not the right, um, not in the right, um, like informational, like, you know, awareness to, to tell you, yeah, this is definitely good or not. I, I, I don't know. I don't know, but it sounds I, good. I, sounds promising. I mean, to be fair, um, like, I don't think anyone really knows. And all fairness, like we don't really have any de- any details besides, hey, they're doing this, right? Um, so, like, it's definitely an interesting thing. It's definitely, I don't see, I can't, I can't see how there'd be negative. The only negative I will see, I can see, is that um, the MLS won't be able to grow in the sense we might not be able to keep our youth talent, right? That's a big thing in the in the in the foreign leagues especially the Premier League, like you have youth ranks, U21 players who grow through the youth and get to the top and they get the chance. I mean, look at United this season. Garnacho uh, being one of them. You know, Chelsea have done that the past few years. Mason Mount up there. Chalaba played against Real Madrid today. Tambi Abraham and Tamori in the Serie A. Uh, like, like things like that. The MLS is going to struggle to keep the youth players now. I feel, and that's not necessarily a bad thing. That does expose over time to the MLS and their our academy strengths. But is that a bad thing, or is that a good thing? For the league itself, I feel like it's a bad thing in terms of like you won't be able to say like, oh, they played in the MLS, they came from here. In terms of like first team football, but I feel like for the U.S. development wise, I feel like it's a good thing because going to Europe, they have now that outlet like instantly mm-hmm. an outlet like because uh, they're not the only team that has that development side where um orange county in the usl they have a partnership with uh rangers i i believe don't don't quote me on that but i know it's a one of the scottish teams so Mm -hmm. i know i think i think it's scott uh rangers but it's just uh it's a good idea and i just hope it works out though because i know lafc has some ballers in the academy system i played with some of them so i they got ballers there so i hope they go Mm -hmm. on um, so you are wrong with the, for the partnership. Orange County what? FC is, is linked with Dutch, a Dutch That's team. Cat. No, it's no, I, I mean, you might be right with the Rangers, but it's, it's, a, it, it is for sure. At least Feyenoord. 
Um, not Scotland. <laughs> uh, but that's okay. That's God okay. damn it. Uh, it happens. It happens. I, we, I'm glad we cut it up or someone's going to get or someone made a comment. Yeah. You already were. Yeah. You already were exposed. <laughs> or someone's going to comment down below. <laughs> um, again. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> It's always, it's always, it's always Orange County SC. Andres said the same thing when he had the whole dude, uh, promotion dude, relegation thing, and, he was, it, and right? he was like, "They did, but it was, it was, you're still wrong." Uh, it, nah, because it says, oh, "Look right here." Um, oh shit, brightness too. It says Rangers SC and Orange County SC has formed a strategic partnership founded on football, youth development, and commercial, oh. commercial activities between California and Glasgow. I was oh. not wrong. All right. Well, I guess you're right. All right. Oh, this this is this is older, but there is a newer partnership, Fire Nord, like this year, like literally a month ago, two months. Oh, ago. well, sick. Here's uh, my point fire, even better. And all right, I well, I, I don't understand that. Um, I don't know of any players that Orange County SC has developed, but that's just me being naive and not knowing anything. Anyways, back to the back to the whole partnership with Bayern Munich, LAFC, and all that. Um, I think it's great. I do. I'm, I'm interested in the investment in the Austrian side because. That's something we haven't seen from an MLS team. We've seen other teams from other leagues, big teams, develop it uh, or, or invest in in t- lower teams from a different league, primarily City and Girona, Manchester City and Girona mm-hmm. in, in mm-hmm. Spain, right? They invest to develop develop Girona, um, and and hopefully in time that will allow City to to grow and get players from Girona. Um, and I know there's other links here and there. Chelsea have been looking at buying a, um, I think it was Strasbourg. They were offered to buy Strasbourg or Bordeaux from, from Ligue 1. So, so things like that, right? Um, this is the first time we're kind of seeing an American team growing out there, um, which is good because that shows that the MLS wants to grow, wants to get out there and dip their toes into international waters. Um, and I think we can finally, it's finally time that, that fans seem to start taking them less seriously in a way and not being like, it's just this retiree club. This 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 um, league where retired players go to. If if top talent producers and talent buyers are forming partnerships with the league to get talent from our league, not send their also, retirees. I, yeah. On the flip side too, yeah, like what you're saying, it's just like not only is it like you know LAFC MLS is gonna well, LAFC in this scenario is gonna probably send players to Bayern Munich, but Bayern Munich is also gonna send players to LAFC. So, right. Young, talented players are going to be exposed to the MLS and then start their careers off possibly here and then make their way onwards. Back but to Europe. Stuff, we'll have, yeah, we'll have the talent here temporarily and then the league will get better. And then the the common like idea of like it's a retired league will slowly change over time yeah. through these partnerships, especially through yeah. more partnerships. Right. So it's, it's very encouraging. But also it's kind of sick that's Bayern Munich. So it's a massive club. So. Dude, I mean, like, we've seen time and time again players come to the MLS, dominate, and then they're going to go back to Europe and 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 hopefully dominate over there. I mean, look at, like, Dennis Buanga this year, right? No one knew his name. No one knew his name except except Gabonese fans and St. Etienne fans over in, over in France. Comes to LAFC, and he's killing it. Probably, if he keeps it up, he's, gonna, he's a lock-in for MVP um, of the league this year. Um and there's no doubt he goes back to Europe in a year or two, right? Probably to, to a higher club or at least the same level club as St. Antion, but with better game time. Mm-hmm. Um, and hopefully he kills it over there. So it's it's doable. We saw, we've saw we seen that uh, Diego Almada this year, the Argentinian wonder kid over at Atlanta United. Yeah. Uh, Ar- Argentinian national team player. He started too. And yeah. he chose to come, to come to the MLS. I mean, he's like one of the talents in the world, like like the big talents. He could have went to Europe if he wanted to. Very easily could have. He's being. He, I'm sure he's. He was being eyed by the big clubs, and he chooses to go to America. And he's killing it. Also, M- MVP contender, at least young player of the year, and he's definitely going to Europe in a year or two for a big money fee. I think they're expecting 60, 70, 80 million for for this player. So Damn. it's doable. Like Bar- Bayern Munich definitely sees that, and they're like, okay, let's send our youth prospects there, who are probably going to flourish. Because as we've seen, European styles of play tend to flourish in this league. Um, and then they're going to come back and at worst sell them for more money than they would have if they hadn't sold them to the MLS. Right. Maybe not get game yeah. time with Bayern Munich because that's really hard. That's, that's that's elite talent. But bring yeah. them back and, and, and sell them for millions more than you thought and then boom. 
So I wouldn't be surprised if more clubs were to partner with these MLS clubs. I think, like, especially the big name ones, like Inter Miami, I'm surprised doesn't have a partnership like that. Like, they're going to eventually, especially with David Beckham being up there. Um, St. Louis City, definitely up there. St. Louis City, by the way, are apparently one of two MLS clubs who have made an approach to Roberto Firmino because his contract's almost up. Really? So they're, they're, they're already balling up there. They're already big balling. Damn. So uh, they're definitely gonna gonna partner with a with a big club um, from Europe or stuff like that. So I think it's great. I think it's a good sign as to where the league's heading. I think it's fun to watch. I think it's definitely gonna change the narrative um, for sure, and it's exciting because we're actually gonna see good talent come over here, and not just oh let's hope Messi comes here or oh Chicharito, you know, like just these big names mm-hmm. who are Got past it. their primes. Um, we're finally gonna see see some new talent be developed through our leagues. Fantastic. Fantastic.